You tire of having your bill 200, 150, 120, or like me, 100, $220 and pay for cable, satellite dish, for what? And they give you those taxes and the little fee there and the fee there. And then they had to get one tier to get one channel. And then you stuck with a 29 you don't watch. And then you have to get another tier, another $20 for another two channels. And then you had 15 channels you don't care. And they always catch you. Join millions of people. How they save money. It's easy and you'll be surprised how good it is. This is me, Frankie D. Do reviews of movies, TV shows, but TV is my life. I love watching TV and I cut the cord a year and a half ago. I show you how, how you can save thousands of dollars. Join me, subscribe and follow me. I make you save money. You'll see easy and effective coming up. Let's save you some money. Almost two years ago, my bills were 220. I used to have Ubers, AT&T. And they always give you the promotion, the six month package and everything is cheap and you do the bundles and boom, 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 boom. And then you have DirecTV, they do the same. Dish Network do the same. But then you wanna have one channel. Hey, I need that sport channel. Oh, no, no, you have to subscribe to the sport channel this year. That's $25 more, um, but, but I want that channel. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to just subscribe another tier. That's $15 and 25 and 30. Your promotion ended and one day you look your bill and say, what the hell happened? Now it's $200, 180, 160. For what? You may be watching 20 channels, but you pay 190 that you don't care and you can't get out because it's a bundle, it's a special, every three months you have to call DirecTV, Ubers, and every channel, every company and cable around the country, they do the same, it's the catch you off. But with the fast internet and with the streaming service, little by little, other companies been going on. Slim TV has been for almost three years. I tried, I didn't like it. YouTube channels, YouTube TV, I like it. No, I didn't like it. The format is only with Chromecast. You have no apps for the TV. Come on, what the heck? I wanna watch my TV without watching it my phone. I mean, you have YouTube TV, doesn't work. Hulu TV, doesn't work. It looks weird. It's expensive. Boo TV, which is part of Sony and the PlayStation, is a little bit better. But when you see the tiers, you're almost paying the same price for cable. The key here is saving money. And the one I tried from the beginning, it was November, almost a year and a half ago, was DirecTV Now. I'm not getting promoted by DirecTV Now. I don't get sponsored by DirecTV Now. I just try all, and I watch a lot of TV, and I'm tired of paying. And I start having that $35 a month. They come out with that and say, hey, wait, wait a second. That's not bad. And then I look the tier of the channel and said, it's almost what I used to have in cable. I got lucky because I got it a long time ago when they start and they give me the go big, the $60 package for $35. As long as I never cancel, as long as I never upgrade it for another tier, I get my $60 a month for 35 bucks. And one of the things they catch you and it's great. You like HBO? Five bucks. Hold on. What do you mean five bucks? Yeah, five bucks. You want to go on DirecTV or you want to go on the cable and you want to watch HBO? It's 15 to $20. DirecTV now, five bucks. Why? I don't know. I don't care. It's five bucks. You want to show time? Eight dollars. Why is it so cheap? I don't care. DirecTV now had the best package. But in the beginning, Little by little started catching up, but they were like a lot of bucks. I just, they were just a lot of sometimes buffering and they, I didn't care because I was saving $130, $140 a month, almost 160 when I, before I cut it. That's a lot of money. And when you start thinking about it, it says, why are you wasting so much money in this? And I got one of these 
few things because I was one of the first one. DirecTV House, thank you for being one of the first one. We're going to give you HBO for free. Excuse me? We give you one year of HBO. Thank you for being one of the first subscribers. And I got lucky. I love it. Now I start back at paying again. But five bucks for HBO, even so the HBO doesn't have many things. Five bucks is the Frappuccino. Come on, guys. And my bill is $40. But here we go again. You're going to see in the bottom all the tiers. they $35, great channels. Then the $60, they had a $50, but the $60. Then they had a $70, go big, whatever the heck they call it. And they just come out with a package in Spanish. If you are a guy who likes to watch Spanish TV, all the sports channels and it's channels from Mexico, from South America, Argentina, Chile, all over. They have a new package for 45 bucks. Hold on. What do you say, Frankie? 45 bucks. Plus the channels of that. So ended up having like 90 channels between English and Spanish, and you have all the sport channels and everything on it. But that's too cheap. Here we go. DirecTV now in my opinion, is the one that do it. I'm going to show you a little bit of video how it looks in my TV when I turn on DirecTV now and how it looks on Fire TV because here we go again. I recommend to you Fire TV. But let me tell you later why. You see in my TV, I have a Fire TV and uh, then you do the Fire TV uh, 4K. And when you have a Fire TV, technically you become your entertainment center. If you have Prime and you have everything like that, it's just you can switch whatever you want. You want Prime, you want Home. Even if you go there, it will be live. Uh, what's going on? Like it, it give you a little preview. Oh, sure. uh, it will give you a preview of something else. They have Prime. Mm -hmm. but technically, you become a Hulu or whatever you have install it yeah. in your system. Uh, but this is what I recommend to everybody. And this, what you see, is Sun Terentium, which soon I will do a review and tell you how to install it because you can install everything in a Fire TV. That's the difference with Roku, Apple TV, and any other system you can do. You can install whatever you want. Technically, this becomes an Android box without being an Android box. And uh, you can do any. Anything you want is going to go there. You can install it, and sometimes they don't have it in their own uh, system, but they, you can just figure it out, and I can tell you how to figure it out. You can Netflix, you can YouTube, you can other softwares that you can install only in the, the Fire TV. But let's go with DirecTV now, and let's show you how that looks when you do it, and why I choose DirecTV now after I traced everything from Hulu TV, YouTube, everything on it. And uh, one of the things, we're going to take the volume down because we don't want to do that. And one of the things is great, it is with that, is the guy. It is, you can go and check the guy, and this look like a TV. You see how the TV, all the channels, is going there, you go and check it out, whatever you have, you can go on the side, and you can go to favors, to shows, to movies, to TV shows, let's say sports. If you want to right now a sport, you find everything you have in the sport right now. Whatever you want is right there. It's just everything is in the sport. And just whatever you want to look on the sport, you can click it in, boom, it just gets you all. Whatever channel you have available. My package have over 100 channels, but that's the way it looks. When you have that, when you have all, you have just a little thing. You can go faster until you find the channel you want. And you go there if you want to do something like that, like a family channel or whatever you want. And you say you want to just record that time. You put to record. You put you want to record, yeah, or you can want to record the series. And they will ask you, you want to record all the episodes? You want to record just the new episodes? Then once you click new episodes, you go say you have push record, I don't want to push it, and then boom, you got all the new episodes coming out to you. So this is the easy way to get out. Let's get out of here so we don't have any copyrights or anything. But this is the difference when you have DirecTV now. You have a guy 
you have it on demand, you can record up to 20 hours for free in HD. And again, why we prefer uh, the Fire TV? Because again, you can install everything. When you set up your Hulu, when you set up, if you have Hulu or you have Prime, or you have, everything is gonna appear to you. And technically this becomes your entertainment center. Like I say, you have Netflix, they're gonna appear everything in Netflix you want. If you wanna see it, Glow, okay, you can go whatever you want and you're watching, it's in your list, it goes directly there. You don't have to log in. You can, oh, you can just go and press Alexa. Alexa, send me to Netflix. Here's Netflix. And boom, you don't have to click, you don't look for the app, and this go to Netflix right there. And just, and get, you go to your room, and then you go and do your lives, and you, movies or whatever you want it says you got that that's a good that's a good uh show ugly delicious from netflix if you like to cook in and they show you everything this is a great comedian from argentina luciano valera uh just saw the other day he made me crack very cool and um you got know, every show in netflix you want to know just look it up and say alexa send me to hulu okay you don't have to just get off this and that. Boom, there we go. Hulu, this is the best you can do. You, it's your entertainment center is everything set up and all you have to do is just click a button or talk to Alexa. Um, let's get out of here, it's, just, it's updating. And, and this is a little bit, that's what I wanna give you a show of this. At the same time, you have your videos, whatever you want, you want your movies, they have channels, all the channels they're showing movies right now, HBO, whatever you have, subscribe, it's gonna appear in your entertainment center and your Fire TV. So you can just, do, it's, it, technically, you will get off of here. You watch your TV, you watch your movies, you watch your TV show, you watch your apps, you watch everything. And um, let's go back and talk about later. You saw a little bit how it looks in my TV. Why I choose Fire TV? All these are gonna be in the link in the bottom. You're gonna have the link for DirecTV now. I don't get paid for it. You're gonna, I don't get paid for anything. And you're gonna have the link for all the Fire TVs. Even if you want a Roku and whatever you want, everything is gonna be in the bottom where you can buy it. And it's gonna be, just click it there, look, look at the reviews, and then you figure it out. My opinion, I've been doing this for almost two years. I try Fire TV and it's the best. Roku is very limited. It's always the last one to get an update from DirecTV now. I don't know why, it must be the system. It doesn't look right. Plus Roku, one of the problems with the same Apple TV is you can install whatever you want. It's just the limited what you can install. It's why they permit you. For, they agree to oh, this app, we don't let you do this. Fire TV, you can upload whatever you want. Whatever is in the library or the Amazon, you do it. If you don't, there are not just me, there are hundreds of people doing videos on YouTube how install any app you want. It's really very simple, piece of cake. Once you install everything you want, technically, and like I said before, it's your library and, and just in your Fire TV. You just, you have everything. You have your Hulu, if you have Hulu. I got Hulu because it's free. My cell phone provider gave me a Hulu free, so why not? Netflix, I have to. Who doesn't have Netflix? That's a must. You have to. And if you save all this money, you have to have Netflix. Then you got your TV, your deck TV now. If you want to choose a Sling TV, you can choose a Sling TV. If you want to choose another server, it's okay with you. Cool, you like it that. I like this because it has a guide and it looks more like a regular TV, like just an app. The app or DirecTV now is the same app or DirecTV. They compress it and make it one. So technically it looks the same if you have DirecTV, it looks the same. All you have to do is have a good internet. I would recommend 25 and over. I think 18 to 20 and a speed megabyte would be okay. But 25 and over almost every cable provider give you 25 or 50 as a minimum. Some, they do even 100. That's more than enough for HD and just 4K. That's more than enough. I got 50, I don't need more than that. And I do 4K 
no problem, no buffering, no nothing. Another thing, DirecTV now, in my opinion, no chase is the best, but I had a friend who just switched from DirecTV, and you know who you are because you're watching me. I don't say the name, mm, but he used to have DirecTV for a long time. He had a special, he had cheaper because he used to be an employee. And of course, get it. I keep telling, try this, try this, nah, try this, nah. He tried, he loved it. He saved a ton of money, like $85 a month. And it looks better. He told me, look, it looks better than DirecTV. How? I don't know, but it's true. I used to have Uverse and some channels didn't look clear. And DirecTV now, it looks perfect. And Uverse is AT&T. DirecTV is AT&T, DirecTV now is AT&T. I don't know how, but that looks better. And it's growing. Slim TV have around 2 million subscribers. DirecTV now is catching up around 1 million and a half to 1.6. I would say by the end of the year, it's going to be the number one streamers. The other ones are way below them. So the big competition, but DirecTV now will give you so many packages, so many promotions, and they have a brand new package, not just in Spanish, the sport channels in Spanish, five bucks, you get six sport channels that you want. And instead, you have cable, you have to pay $15, $20, $25 for three channels. It is, this is the way to go. Streaming is the way to go. DirecTV now is, in my opinion, the way to go. And Fire TV, you can have the Fire TV stick. You can Fire TV, which is now the 4K, is like a little stick handle on the back. I have the second generation DirecTV 4K. They don't study anymore. But you can buy in Amazon. I'm going to put the link if you still have it. In my opinion, that's the best. It's a little more expensive, like $80 refurnished. They don't sell it new. But the key is, it's not just Wi Fi. You can plug the internet cable to make you more powerful, the internet system. It's up to you. Whatever you choose, it's always Amazon have big specials on and Amazon Prime coming right now on the 16th. Would be if you want to wait. They are always special. And Direct TV now. Now, the first three months, you can have it the $35 package for $10 a month. Give it a try. $10. Bucks. What you can lose? Nothing. Your cable. Keep your satellite. But if you figure it out, give it a week or two to get used to because you don't see the channel. Once you get used to, you're going to cut the cord. You're going to cut the cable, the satellite edge. You check no more boxes, no more anything. You can watch it in your TV. You can watch it in your tablet, in your computer, in your phone. You watch whatever you want. DirecTV now to give you two TVs at the same time. And then you can have $5 more or $10. I think it's $5 more or $10 for the third TV at the same time. But it had to be three people at the same time watching it. That's why you need one extra one if you want it. But it's still, it's a bargain. I hope you like what I did. I hope you save you money. I saved at least $2,000 a year, a little bit more, to be honest. And I want everybody to do that. I want you to cut the cord and be part of the cord cutters. That's what we call each other, cord cutters. And it's not just me, it's a lot of people. Everybody has a different opinion which one is the best. In my opinion, the Fire TV and Direct TV now is the right and it looks almost like a regular TV. And it looks super clear, no buffering. I don't have any buffering. And you will love it. If you like what I did, give me a thumbs up. I hope you have an opinion. If you did that, if you're one of the car cutters and you're watching this, write it down. Say, hey, you know what? I agree with you. I save a lot of money. It's a lot of money, guys. You don't save the $10, $20. We talk about hundreds of dollars. And there are millions of people joining. Just be one of the car cutters. Join me with your reviews and give me your opinion if you want it. I hope you like what I did. My reviews are in this size, my face with your eyes here. If you like what I did, subscribe and help me out. Just be part of this world of your reviews. Until the next time, I hope I save you money. I really do. I hope you'll give it a try. Till the next time, ciao.